the Home Sitting Hippie. Today I'm going to show you how we can our butchered chickens. If you need to watch the video on how we butcher it, click here. First, we're going to go ahead and cut the whole chickens up into pieces. And I have another video on that, click here. Now we've got the chicken into pieces and I'm going to be starting off with canning the legs and thighs. The breast meat at this point in time we're going to actually freeze for, for later use, but I'm going to can the legs and thighs. So as you can see, they're cut into pieces and the skin's off completely. I'm going to take a clean hot jar, that's boiling water there, I'm just going to carefully stick the thigh pieces in and layer them up. And you want to kind of press them down, kind of get them in there. And then we're going to fill this up with boiling water. This has got the boiling water in it, so I want to be kind of careful not to touch the jar. But I'm taking a plain rubber spatula and just kind of pushing down, making sure we get all the air holes out. You don't want any air bubbles down in there because that could affect whether or not the seal actually stays and whether or not all the bacteria is out of there. And you want there to be one inch of head space on the jar, which is right about here on the threads. We're going to take a damp rag and carefully oh, it's warm, wipe the top and that way you get any grease or food or water off the jar. That's also very important or you might not have a proper seal. My tattler lids have already been scrubbed and sanitized and the tattler lids are BPA free and they're hard reusable plastic and they have these really cool rubber rings and the rubber rings can be used I think up to 20 times and then you might need to replace them. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ring in place first and then put the lid on. Take our clean band, we're just going to tighten it, finger tight, but with the tattler lids we're going to unscrew it about a quarter of a turn. And then this is jar, it will be ready to go into our pressure canner. I'm going to fill up the other seven, six jars and then we'll take them out for our pressure canner. Okay, so we're outside with our camping stove, which is where I do most of my canning in the summertime. And I've got seven jars of hot, it's kind of warm, but they're hot chicken filled with hot water. And we're going to go ahead and put the lid on our canner. Now your canner might be a little bit different. So follow those directions on there. Mine is just line up the arrows and close it. Now all chicken and as well as all meats needs to be pressure canned. This is not a water, safe to do water bath at all. Whatever grandma did doesn't matter. There's been new studies on it. Bacteria does not get killed at 212 degrees in the water bath no matter how long you leave it in there. So it has to be pressure canned. And it has to be pressure canned for 10 pounds, which is this plus one ring. And it has to be canned for 90 minutes once this starts rocking like this on the canner. So we're going to go ahead and let this come up to pressure. And we'll know it's at pressure when the steam starts rising and our overflow valve has popped up. Then we'll put the rocker on and when it starts rocking we'll set, start the timer and go for 90 minutes. And then we'll check back after it's cooled off. Okay, so the jars were in the canner for 90 minutes and we allowed the canner to cool. Then we left the jars for about three hours to let them finish cooling. And now they're kind of cool to the touch and we're going to test the lids. If it pushes down and doesn't pop back, the lid is secure. So we're going to remove the bands and then I always just double check and make sure the lid doesn't come off. Yeah, because these jars are perfectly sealed, no air can get in or out. I'm just going to wash them off, remove any grime or grit off the jar. 
and it's ready for storage in the pantry. Thanks for joining us. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click to subscribe to get all of our videos. Thanks again.